Alright, this is just taking off the fork legs on a Honda NHX 110 known as the Elite or the Elite 110 so you should wipe down the uh, stanchions here first keep everything clean when you do this you should look at your, your fork seals here too see, see if they're okay this one seems to be alright yeah, not leaving any dirt behind, so it seems to be okay. Okay, so there's basically two bolts that, that holds each leg. The top bolt uh, on the leg itself, there's a little uh, indentation, a groove basically, so that the top bolt goes into that. That's sort of a safety feature where where if even if, if the bolt's loose, it, the, the fork leg won't be able to come out until the bolt's completely uh, out. Um, so this is a uh, 14 millimeter. So what I do is, oops, wrong, wrong size. Okay, 14 millimeter. So what I do is I I will loosen up the top one, and just a little bit on the bottom. Wow, that one was tight. So basically, I I loosen up the top one as much as like, uh, you know, quite a bit. And uh, I don't really completely loosen the bottom one. I feel where the loosest is, and I tighten it up just a little, just a tiny bit. Uh, the reason for that is uh, I'm going to use this, uh, the, the fork clamp itself, to hold the stanchion so that I could actually uh, uh, loosen up the top, top cap on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the fork. So that way I could uh, change the... Uh, Change the oil. That doesn't fit, so I'm gonna have to use a uh, a box wrench, 17 millimeter, up on top. So you have to kind of figure out where to how to make this thing work. Sometimes you're in the wrong spot. And what you can do is you could actually loosen this and and rotate this fork leg a little bit, so that you could have a, a good angle where your where your wrench could fit in there. So I'm actually at a good angle right now. So I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit. And remember, it's only the, the bottom leg that, that is tightened. Because if you tighten up the top bolt, what happens is that this clamp here, it squeezes the, the stanchion, and that's where the thread is, and it squeezes the thread, and you won't be able to loosen up that top, uh, the top, the top one. And when you do this one, uh, it's not too tight. Even if you do this bottom one too tight, it'll still squeeze. So just a little bit only. Um, you, ha you have to kind of experiment with it a little bit just to see where it's too tight or where it's too loose. Let's see. Okay. So let's loosen that. So it might might be a good idea to wear some gloves too. So you don't you know bang up your hands so much. You know, ding up your hands. Um I think I might have it enough. Let's see. See if this, if the, the, the fork leg will, will move or not. If I, if I spin this, yep, the fork leg's moving. So I'm just gonna hold it there and see if I'm gonna even spin that. Okay, so it's loose enough. Okay, so once the top bolt. Oh, the top cap is loose enough. I'm gonna take off these two clamps that holds the fork leg on. That's one. And you should uh, you should have uh, unbolted your your brake caliber. Uh, oh, I didn't unbolt the little line here. Yeah, you should have removed the brake caliber off, and take this little uh, uh, hose clamp here off as well to uh, 
to to remove the uh, the leg, slide the leg off. Since the caliper is not that heavy, I'm like I'm just gonna let it dangle by the the hose. Usually, on on bigger calipers or something that's heavier, I like I like to put like a little uh, like a little uh, coat hanger and thread it through where, where it mounts. You know, thread it through where it mounts here, and uh, and hook it to somewhere so it doesn't put any strain on the uh, on the uh, uh, brake line. Okay, so now the two bolts up here are off, uh, the two clamps up here are off, I could just basically just slide this down. That's it. So once you slide that down, you know, it's good idea to wipe everything clean. I always use old t-shirts. Uh, I like to use old t-shirts, you know, why, why buy shop rags when perfectly good old t-shirt or old socks or underwear or whatever could do just fine. You know. Pop that off, wipe it up in here, whatever crud that's in here. There shouldn't be anything in here, but you never know. Probably most of it's on the top, I think. Uh, pop that off, so, so that way it's, it'd be good for, for you to uh, install it when you're ready to install it. Um, also remember to wipe off your uh, the threads on your bolts too. I can see uh, this dirt, you know, that's a little bits of, uh, of pebble and gravel uh, dirt in the in the threads itself and that that comes from the little s slit on this uh, fork clamp the top fork clamp here so this dirt goes gets into the threads from there um, some of it's from the back side too but uh, remember to wipe all that stuff off too all right so that's how you take off the uh, the fork leg and the and removing the top cap so so I could change the oil so this is part one I'm gonna do part two uh, on changing the oil